Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be continuing on with our wacky, weird and wonderful Road to Rank Roulette series. We kicked off the week earlier in the week with a team of Wigglytuff, Lugia, Dawn Wings and the Crossman, Hit on Top, Volcarona and Lorantis. Now today, I haven't got it up for you right now because we are going to be activating some of those bonus buttons. So I'm going to activate at least two of them today and I think... Thinking about from our last episode, the two that I'm going to activate in today's episode is going to be that randomizer, and I'm going to activate the legend maker as well to see if we can switch things up and maybe not disrupt the team too much because we've, we've really fallen afraid for that in past weeks where we've activated all three buttons and then it's all fallen to pieces and we end the week really in a little bit of a pitter out and we don't want to do that so we're sitting on three wins three losses this week not too bad not brilliant but I feel like we could do a lot better and finish really positive this week which would be super nice so first button that we're going to activate is going to be that randomizer so we've got to go over to the wheel and see which pokemon that we're going to lose out of that team of six first so we'll head straight over to the wheel now and see what pokemon we're going to lose and get rid of it's a bit risky but i think it might pay off it's wigglytuff all right okay i don't mind this at all because wigglytuff as good as it is, it's cute as it is, it's been super underwhelming this week, the Assault Vest, <laughs> especially after last yesterday's episode. If you haven't seen yesterday's episode, I'll link it up here for you, you can go back and check that out. It's capabilities of taking special attacks, even with the vest. The ultimate vest is pretty bad. So, I'm, I'm not too sad to see it go. It's been nice featuring it, it's a cool Pokemon. I think, again, it's a bit like that Mewtwo X situation where in a different team, could probably perform a lot better but it needs some better support options around it unfortunately but it's been fun playing it thank you so much for the suggestion scott and pinko for that one and uh, we'll go straight over to the wheel see what we're going to pull out in place of our wiggly tail. Azumarill! Okay, this is cool. We get a fairy for a fairy. We get a water type as well, which is great. And Azumarill literally is one of my favorite Pokemon <laughs> of all time. I love Azumarill, so it's going to be a lot of fun playing it. I've got to go with the standard belly drum set. We have to do that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I did say that we're going to activate our Legend Maker button today. So what we're going to do is head over to the wheel now. See which one between Lugia and Dawnwings Necrozma will come out. Um, and sadly, leave the team for the rest of the week and make way for a new one. So we'll see which one that is going to be. <laughs> And it's Lugia. Okay, I'm I'm a little bit sad about it. I'm and I keep mentioning this, like the Mewtwo, the Wigglytuff, the Lugia. I think in a better team with other support Pokemon, other options around it, it can do a lot better. You know, the the makeup that we've got of the team at the minute is very Trick Room orientated, and Lugia doesn't kind of sit in that very well because we're going down that Tailwind route. Now we could just go down a Plain Z move. Z move route, we could go down a calm mind route, but I do feel like that Z tailwind is, is a really good way to go with it, and fortunately it didn't really fit in, so sad, but maybe we get it back another week, you know, that's the thing, if you would like to see it back, do go over to our comment community section now there's a post up there asking for nominations for next week, make sure you just select it and it might come out again, so that is the way to do it anyway. And a reminder for the rest of you that the, the nominations for next week is now up on the channel. So go and get those nominations in before the weekend. But we need to decide which legendary we're going to have in place of Lugia going into the rest of the week. So we'll activate that legend maker button and see who it's going to be. It's Kyogre! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. All right. We get one of the primals. We've been pretty lucky with these picks recently. You know, we've had Rayquaza recently. We've had Kyogre now. Um, and I'm pretty sure we had Groudon somewhere along the line. But it feels like a distant memory. So, team looking all right, I think. Those changes I'm pretty happy with. Uh, we've increased our, our weakness to um, Tapu Koko. 
dramatically. But the team as it is, as it stands right now, is down in the description below. There's a roll piss and a poker piss, and it consists of Thornwings and Cosma, Volcarona. We've kept those two the same from the last episode. The Laurentis kept the same. Him on top kept the same. Got the Azumarill in the team now. We went, like I say, for that belly drum set and then the Primal Kyogre. And we're going down a, a full trick room route with this team. So we need to hopefully... Uh, support this Dawn Wings and allow it to get the Trick Room off. That is the main prerogative of the team. Uh, Azumarill can do a lot of work though if we get the Belly Drum off as well. We've got that nice combination of the Top Moth. We've got Azumarill with, with Hitmon on top as well, which works quite nicely with that Fake Out support to get that Belly Drum off. And then the Rain support from the Kyogre just fits perfectly in there. So let's see what we can do. We'll jump straight into it. The music is on. As always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, guys, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are on the team on the matches that we've had so far this week and if you'd like to see any more of those bonus buttons activated as we go on um let's kick off with legendary music and hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent and just like magic fb from japan appears so we're getting a team preview and we'll get quickly underway with this one so our first opponent today running a team of Gengar, Scrafty, Tapu Fini, Sogaleo, Tapu Koko and Groudon. So we've got a Groudon and Sogaleo combination here. It's a, it's a unique combination that you don't see too often. Uh, you've got to say if there's any sort of speed control. The first thing we always try and identify in our team previews is um, Trick Room really. Um, it could be on the Gengar, although it's unlikely. It's more likely to be on that Sogaleo. Sogaleo having access to things like Wide Guard as well. Uh, you've got the Fake Out support from the Scrafty Intimidate support. Support there so I'm acting a lot like the Incineroar there maybe a bit more solid in this sort of build and then double tapu to disrupt the terrain and kind of support everything now you can identify straight away that the Tapu Koko is going to be a bit of a pain for us to deal with um hmm now do we go him on top and Dawn Wings isn't a bad option um Volcarona here could be pretty good just for its rage power and it does take advantage of the the weather there um, and maybe Kyogre obviously as a backup as well if we can get Kyogre hit him on top on the field uh, under Trick Room we're sitting pretty good I think the one thing that we maybe have to worry about a little bit and whether or not we want to bring the Volcar on is the Tapu Fini ways to deal with that we're kind of relying heavily on our Dawn Wings and Crossma, but I think it should be all right if we get a Trick Room up we should be good not going to be easy by any means, but I think we've got a route to win. I think we've got a route to win. Um, it's going to be difficult, of course. So there's, there are the questions thrown up from Sogaleo, uh, how our opponent positions it on the board, uh, utilizes potentially that wide guard. Where's the Z move? Is it on the Coco? Is it on the Sogaleo? Um, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of stuff that we need to, to worry about here. So we're going to see the Gengar and the Tapu Koko come out from my opponent. You've got to think that we probably see a Taunt come out from um, the Gengar turn 1. That would be my best guess, I think, here. Um, we could just fake out the Tapu Koko. The one other thing we could potentially do is bring in Volcarona here. Uh, so we've got a Rage Powder Trick Room the next turn. Because I think we probably do see a Taunt from the Gengar. Uh, it depends on what this Tapu Koko does, though. Um, but I, I feel like this is probably our best route to getting our Trick Room up. I, if I'm totally honest. We're going to see the Gengar Mega Evolve. Um, Dawn Wings, remember, we're not trapped in because of the Ghost type in there. So we're not affected by that. Shadow Shield. We're just going to see a Protect from the Coco. Get around that Fake Out from the top. Um, and we'll Protect as well. And we'll see what this Gengar goes for. Substitute here would be bad. And that's what we see. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Damn it. Damn and blessed. Okay, we'll go for a Rage Powder and we'll go for that Trick Room. If we can get the Trick Room up, it does help us out a bit. The problem is, though, we don't really want to get Kyogre in until uh, the Groudon's on the field. Um, and it doesn't look like it's going to be something that my opponent's going to kind of wait around to do. But we'll see. We'll see what they do here. Uh, we've got a pretty guaranteed trick room up. I don't think Volcarona will go down to... Well, you know, it's going to take both attacks. It's got the Sash, so it's going to be fine, whatever happens. 
So we'll see what my opponent decides to go for. Substitute there is like the worst for us though, honestly. Like, <sighs> taunt would have been better. Substitute makes things way more difficult. It makes the Gengar way more threatening. Sludge Bomb. Let's probably take us down to our Sash. No, well that's alright. Uh, and then the Coco Z move. Gigabolt Havoc. Okay. I mean that's not bad. Wasted on to the Volcarona. So the Volcarona doing its job of getting the Trick Room up. Which is the nice thing. Um, I think next turn we're going to have to get Kyogre in. As much as I really don't want to. Um, and maybe go for an Ice Beam, Moon Guys Beam into that Gengar. Expecting like the Coco to switch out into Groudon. <sighs> yeah, because the Ice Beam should break the sub. And then the Moon Guys Beam should get rid of the Gengar. But my opponent can easily get around that by just protecting the Gengar. And switching the Coco out to Groudon. So it's a little difficult. It's a little difficult. But what I would hope my opponent maybe us banking on us doing is going for that, that water spout uh, or origin pulse and getting the ground on in so the, the Gengar has a free turn and the sub's still intact protecting it. So We'll go for this, we'll go for the Ice Beam, we'll go for the, the Moon Guys Beam. I think if we can get this, it puts us in a nice position going into the next turn. There's the Coco going out, so Groudon coming in. Just got to hope this Gengar doesn't protect. Let's see. Desolate land. Oh, it's killing me, the, the suspense. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Dang! All right. Uh, all right. I mean, we can get the Gengar the next turn. We probably have to. We probably have to go for the Gengar now. Um, just because, like, we can't leave it unchecked. And the Ice Beam. And the Moon Guys Beam. Like, and anything coming in will take a, a good chunk of damage. Other than Scrafty. But we can't re Like, I could switch the Crossma out to him on top, but it's not the Pokemon I really want to be switching out right now. I want to be switching out the Kyogre to get a weather back onto the field. Um, we're likely going to take a Precipice Blades here on Eruption. Oh, this isn't good. We needed the Kyogre to be slower. I think, ah, this is the problem here now. So, yeah, we're not actually going to be able to take down the Gengar. And we potentially lose. I don't wings now. Ah, the speed tier. This is why learning the speed tiers of the Pokemon before you start playing with them is so important. Precipice Blades doesn't even miss. Makes connections all over the shop. And yeah, we'll lose we'll lose Necrozma now. Parasol. Okay. Ah, <sighs> perish, perish, perish. Hmm. Well, an Ice Beam will get the Gengar. What's the ground I'm going to do? Just protect? I would imagine protect. This is like this is why I don't want to just waste that Z move here because I could go for the Z move right now into Groudon, um, but I just feel like the Groudon protects. The Gengar definitely protects. Hundred percent protects. Does the Groudon? Like, why wouldn't you protect with the Groudon? Yeah, I'm going to just go on Moon Guys Beam into the Groudon. I, I think the Groudon protects here, right? Yeah, there's the Gengar Protect. I'll kick myself if this Groudon doesn't protect, though. Um, we could have doubled it and got rid of it. It's just like the fact of wasting the Z-Move here. That's what I didn't really want to do. <sighs> we would have definitely got it as well with the Z-Move, I think, from that damage. Miss. Nah. And that's the game now. Oh, what a disappointing way to open it. Um, uh, we, we, I think at that point we needed to be a bit more ballsy with what we were doing. A hundred percent. Like, what have we got? Hit on top left. Is that it? 
Come on. Yeah, hit him on top. It's not doing anything. So we'll forfeit. There's no point in dragging this out. We can't do anything physically from here. There's no way Hitmontop can even deal with the Gengar, never mind the Tapu Koko or the Groudon. Uh, so my opponent uh, like really just locking us down and us not really being as bold as we needed to in some situations, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, so that will take us to four losses and three wins. And ah, not off to the best start after the bonus button. The bonus buttons are always a curse. I feel like a curse. <laughs> the curse of the bonus buttons. Um, but never mind. We've got time for even a couple more matches now. It's still early on in the episode. So we've still got plenty of time to uh, to pull things back. Four losses, three wins. It's all right. Standard, standard roulette. Roulette action. Roulette uh, results really, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not demoralized at all. I'm not demoralized. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sad. I'm sad about it. I always want the, I always want when the bonus buttons to activate to uh, to do well, but sometimes it's not always the case, is it? It doesn't seem like it. Every time we activate them, I can't really think of a time where we have activated them and they've done really well. But it's just one of those things, right? We've got an next opponent, Q AI. So uh, get into team preview, see what we're going up against. Uh, Heatran, Tornadus, Koma or Kyoga. Hariyama and Bishop. So a nice selection of Pokemon here. Uh, some real favorites of mine. You've got the Tornadus there with the speed control helping out the whole team. Especially the, the priority taunt as well. It's uh, quite annoying for us to deal with. Um, Koma always probably got the Z move. At least it's not Megas to think about. Um, our Trick Rooms are definitely our best option, I think. We've got to watch out for that Hariyama though. Um, and our. Uh, our Intimidate isn't the easiest thing to, to get off. We're quite weak to Tornado's Hurricane as well, so we need to be a little bit careful around that. Um, Azumarill could be really good though for us. Like, honestly, if we can get Azumarill like, set up, I think Azumarill could do some real work in this match. Uh, I do want to bring it, I think. So I'll bring Azumarill him on top. It's a bit risky against that, that Bishop. It's really risky against the Bishop, to be honest. Uh, the Volcarona might be a better option. Um, we'll go Necrozma, and then I think we'll bring Kyogre in the back. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's be positive and pull back a victory in this one. We can do it with Azumarill. It's our newest member of the team. It's gonna do some work. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. It's getting around the Tornadus. It's always gonna be the tricky thing, I think. Um, Volcarona's Rage Powder will help with that a bunch. Uh, it's just whether or not we see Tornadus and Kyogre come out from my opponent. That will be really problematic for us. <laughs> Why do I say this? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do it to myself? Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, we, well, we could Tailwind with Volcarona. Uh, and belly drum, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we, like, it's probably worth going for. I think my opponent probably, Tornadus, probably goes... More than likely goes for, um... For Tailwind of their own. Here. So we'll, 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 we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try the Tailwind belly drum. Uh, if we can get Azumarill set up, like, more power to us. There's the Tailwind, so... We're just going to take Water Spout damage, which we know the Volcarona with the Sash can take. So that's that gives us a little bit of room the next turn. Not a massive amount of room, though. That's the, the big problem. Uh, water Spout. This is going to do about half health to Azumarill, for sure. Oh, way more! Way more. Man, that's nasty. That's nasty damage. <laughs> uh, okay. So, Azumarill gets a bit of health back. I mean, it probably will be able to take at least one more Water Spout. <clears throat> oh, definitely not now though. After that, after the belly drum, pretty much out of the game now. So what do we got? We've got Azumarill. Uh, what have we got in the back? Uh, because right now Volcarona is doing nothing. It really isn't doing anything. Um, no, and I mean, does the Tornadoes have the Sash? We could go for an Aqua Jet there. And um, I don't know what we do with Volcarona. We just let it go down. We could Rage Powder, I guess. 
it's not really gonna yeah I mean what's a tornado is gonna do Kyogre switching out what <laughs> what okay okay we're still in this then tornado is gonna go for I'd imagine maybe even a Z move I don't know but we might be able to take it down here nice Zoomeril I don't understand <laughs> I don't understand the Kyogre switch out <laughs> okay I mean the Komo is still not the easiest thing to deal with um, because of the Z move it doesn't affect Azumarill of course uh, so we do have that play rough that we can take advantage of um, what's the Kyogre gonna come in and do Kyogre has to come back onto the field now unless you want to sit on it till later who knows now nah, it is the, the Kyogre Um, we can't even whirlwind the comma all really can we um, and a player rough is just not going to cut the mustard there <sighs> Volcarona literally can't do anything Volcarona can't do anything I mean we can whirlwind the comma all but it's just going to get an attack off anyway so it's like do we go just go for the water jet and guarantee damage off onto it before it does anything um, or do we go for the player rough expecting it to go for the Z move and the Kyogre not, not attack I, I really don't know um, I'm just gonna go for the guaranteed damage of Aqua Jet and uh, just Rage Powder the Volk it's pretty useless here now in front of this Kyogre with the rain up um, half health would be good not bad not bad there's a water spout it will take everything down and if this means that the Z move fails, that would be even better. Uh, that would be really good. Um, Volcarona going down. It's like it's super rainy outside, which is just completely matching. I don't know if it's spilling over <laughs> into the mic. I hope it is. It's like actual rain effects. Uh, we'll get Kyogre in um, and we will get Necrozma in. Do we go Trick Room? We know the Comma O is going Outrage though. That's the, the big thing here, right? So my opponent's got to go a Water Spout. And they've got to get the Outrage. Like hit into Necrozma. So they've got to get it. It's, like, it's, a, it's a coin flip, isn't it? It's a coin flip. Um, but I feel like... Getting the trick room up now, probably, yeah, if we get it up, I mean, it's a lot better for us, isn't it? Because then we can water spout um, and then Z move the Kyogre. And hopefully that's enough to kind of clear the field. And we should hopefully have enough to clean up whatever's in the back. But it, again, it's going to be whether or not this comma or... Okay, the origin pulse. Miss, please miss. Never misses. Okay, close combat, that's fine. We get the trick room up. Okay, I'll take that all day long. Because um, our tailwinds should be pittering out right now. Yeah. And we'll be able to Z move into the Kyogre and water spout. And, and like, I do think that's going to be enough to get the Kyogre. And it should be enough to get. Well, yeah, water spout should be enough to get the Koma off from this range. Uh, Z move. Menacing Moonrace Maelstrom into the Kyogre. So we can pull this back round and tie up going into tomorrow's episode if we get this one. We still got one Pokemon to think about that my opponent's got in the back. So it's all about getting this Kyogre really. If it hangs on, it's going to be a bit disappointing. So we'll get the Z move fired off. Uh, we'll have to cut this scene so we'll be right back when we do hit into the Kyogre. Let's just, fingers crossed, it's going to do enough damage. We'll be right back though, my friends. To the Kyogre, how much is this going to do? Is it going to put it in water spout range? Oh yeah, it should do, come on. And we are the slower Kyogre, which is good. This should clean the field up. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, we can pull back a win. This is a lot better. This is a lot better. Whew. Azumarill doing all the work here. Um, obviously, we get a little bit fortunate, I think, with the Kyogre switch out and turn two for my opponent. I don't really understand that play, but uh, they probably were thinking that we were going to do something different. Heatran... 
the last Pokemon standing for my opponent. Not looking so good for it right now. We'll go for that Water Spout, and this should wrap up the game for us, which is impeccably good, because we'll go for that Moon Guys Beam, and uh, that will wrap things up for us today. The Moon Guys Beam firing off first. Um, and it'll definitely put the Heatran in range for our Water Spout. Flash Cannon coming out, though. It's going to get a last-ditch attack off into and across my Take us down, which is fine, but uh, Kyle gets in pretty happy. Full health right now. Fire off one of those big bad water spouts and take the heatron down and clinch a victory for us today so that takes us to four wins four losses going into our final day tomorrow now whether or not we activate some more buttons in tomorrow's episode or we sit on the team and try it out for a little one more episode to see if we can finish positive the dream as always would be six and four and from this point obviously it would be like 10-0 <laughs> if we had it my way, but it's going to be a bit difficult to do that. If we can go 6-4 and finish positive tomorrow, that is incredible. That is incredible. I think that is really good, and it's something we should aim for. So we're going to wrap things up there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Have a great rest of your day, whatever you're up to, and we'll be back for more Road to Rank Roulette tomorrow. So until then, take care, and bye-bye.